Hi, my name is Dr. Bump and I work with the students in VAST Academy. This semester we've been doing some very exciting, immersive learning in HCC's virtual reality lab with our two video classes and our, one of our math classes. For the video classes, their assignment was to choose three places around the world, find at least three facts about them, explore the locations virtually, um, record those virtual experiences. Back in our classroom, the students uploaded their videos to we Video, and then they wrote a script to go along with where they went in their virtual travels. Their script needed to include their three facts that they had gathered, and then some other things about each location. They had to have an introduction and then an ending. Their next step was to record themselves reading their script from the teleprompter in the green screen room. Thanks to Reuben, Lyndon, and the student workers, my students were successful in this task. Once they got their green screen videos, they uploaded them to Wee Video and began the video editing process. While editing their videos, they learned real world marketable skills. They learned about audio tracks, video tracks and text tracks. They learned to lay music on a track and modify the volume so that it didn't overwhelm the speaker. They learned how to add transitions, titles, text, and special effects. They learned how to make sure they were staying lined up with the video being shown. They got a chance to see how tedious and time-consuming video editing can be. They also learned the meaning of the word tedious. In our math class, we use Tiny Town VR to construct a piece of a town or a residential area. We did this after we had talked about maps and directions and the layout of things and answered some questions about what direction they would go when they're reading maps and how they would get to an actual place. Um, then we learned about scale drawings and what a scale was and why we used them. We talked about estimating distances and how the objects really were in their own tiny town. They worked on problems based upon different things in their tiny town VR worlds that they had constructed. The student's use of virtual reality has many real world applications. While VR was developed predominantly for the gaming and entertainment industries, it is also used in the construction sector. Primarily, this takes the form of simulating a building, structure, or space in which users can immerse themselves prior to it being constructed in reality. By providing the immersive sensation of actually being inside a building, it makes it easier to communicate the design intent clearly. By providing the immersive sensation of actually being inside a building, it makes it easier to communicate design intent clearly. When clients are unable to understand spatial relationships and scale from looking at a 2D rendering, VR can evoke a positive reaction in much the same way that physical architecture can. My students were able to experience this with their towns. This introduction only scratches the surface of what my students will be able to do with all the skills they developed this semester as they worked in the VR lab. Thank you, HCC and Forward Thinking Leaders, who provided us with this opportunity.